Welcome back to Wasteland 2. We return once again to the area surrounding the prison. And I have pretty much two choices on where to go from here. I can either go back to Ranger Citadel, where I will apparently find Rick Bachowski, who apparently knows where to find the rat suits, to get to DeMonta. Or I could just go to the prison itself. And I think I want to go to the prison, because I don't think there's going to be a reason to actually come back here. After I find out where to get the rat suits. So, yeah, let's go check out the prison. I think they're going to try to shoot me in the prison. According to what this douchebag Chris Van Overbake said. He said his radio wasn't working. Which I'm pretty sure is a load of shit. But, whatever. If they want to put up a fight, I will uh, kill them with glee. I suppose that doesn't sound good for a ranger. You're not supposed to take pleasure in killing, but, you know, I wouldn't mind killing these pricks. Given how they've tortured the people living here. But they're fucking fees for everything. Shovel fee, this fee, that fee, being poor fee. Charging a bajillion fake monies for an ear of corn. Bunch of pricks. So I think this is the back entrance to the prison. There's a loose board blowing in the wind. You don't build a fence unless you're trying to keep something out. Why don't you bash it down, Angela? Boom! Ah. Uh, yep. They are red. They're gonna try to kill me. Fated Polaroid. This isn't another Polaroid of a forest scene, is it? Is that like what every Polaroid is of? Yeah, a lush green forest. Is that the only thing people take pictures of? Weirdos. <laughs> These goats are gonna die so quickly. Do I have any reason not to go in here? I mean, is there any way I can make them not want to shoot me? Did I try talking to Van Overbeek? You know, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go try talking to Van Overbeek. Okay, let's try actually talking to him. Maybe I can do something. Uh, I'm busy and I don't care about what happens to you. Okay. Uh, oh, Chaos, you're named. Can I talk to you? I'll take the fact that you don't even respond as a no. Okay. Right then. Uh, back we go. Let's go kick some ass. Oh my. Oh my. They don't have that many hit points, but there's a lot of them. And what are these goats doing? What the hell? Interesting. Gotta be careful about this. There's a lot of enemies. Nine of them in view. You know, I think the fact that over here I found a pipe bomb is a suggestion. I believe that is suggestive. I think a grenade's more, yeah, a grenade's more powerful than a pipe bomb though, right? Where's my bomb? Yeah, pipe bomb, pipe bomb does 50. 
Grenade does 100, they have 80 hit points in general, so let's go with the grenade. Let's see if I can throw far enough to hit these people. How far can I throw it? Hmm. That's not too far. Shit. Alright, uh, we'll do that later. We'll do that during combat, not before. Unless I want to throw it around these guys, but I don't think I want to do that to kill two. <clears throat> Doesn't seem worth it. Anyway, this, um, this little thing here is obviously set up for us to take cover behind all these boxes, so why don't we do just that? Put Yulia up front. Snipers in the back. Takayuki, uh, this is going to be your first real test, I suppose, of your endurance. Since you are melee, you're going to have to put yourself out there. Can't be in cover. Uh, kind of rang in a room here. Okay. Give this a shot. Everybody else probably won't need to move. You might need to move. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Uh. What? I tried to shoot and then we just went into combat. Did somebody see me? Why didn't I get a chance to shoot? That was weird. Okay. Burst is probably not needed. I think I can pretty comfortably kill these guys in... Yeah, they have one armor. I can kill them in two shots. Which was a little bit further away. I'll take the shot, though. Oh, oh, great. I destroyed Angela's cover. Good job, Harper. I haven't used your midnight special in a while. Oh, damn it, he's out of range. If I shoot here, I'm probably going to destroy Harper's cover. You know, I've come to the realization after... I mean, I've played for 20 plus hours, right? The entire time having Yulia as a shotgunner. You know what conclusion I've come to? Shotguns fucking suck. They do. They just suck. They're terrible. They're really, really, really fucking bad. It pains me to say it, because she's a shotgunner and I wanted, you know, a nice spread of weapon skills. But shotgunners are terrible. And I remember when the beta for Wasteland was out, I was reading threads about, you know, good party builds and stuff like that. And I remember people back then were saying that shotgunners sucked. But there's a recent patch, and I think they'd kind of buffed shotguns and stuff like that, so I was thinking, you know, but... Okay, it's a problem now, but maybe by the time the final game comes out, they'll have fixed it. They haven't. Shotguns still fucking suck. They're terrible. I barely even get to shoot with Yulia. And when I do, usually somebody else is in the way, like, oh great, Harper's there, so I can't shoot. I'd be killing, shooting two of my own people. I mean, the shotgun does, like, half the damage of the assault rifle, and I can't burst it like the assault rifle. The assault rifles, you can burst and do, like, 150 damage, potentially, in one freaking turn. Like, man, they really need to look at shotguns. They just, they blow. Okay, let's see if I can hit both of them. Okay. Uh, 
let's yeah, let's try to <laughs> let's try to let's try to not destroy Harper's cover. That is the one situation where a shotgun actually worked okay. But man, yeah, if you're gonna put somebody in your team with a shotgun, give them a second weapon skill. Because shotgun itself is just not good enough. Which makes me all the more glad that I gave her the energy weapon skill. Oh man, I want to throw a grenade in the middle of those people so bad. Looks like the next three turns are going to be the sheep. What are they going to do? Scream? <laughs> Maybe they'll scare away the enemies by screaming. I guess just go next to this dude. Okay, so the sheep have fake turns. Gotcha. Oh. Lobbers. Fuck, I need to take out the lobbers, because they're gonna... Yeah, they're gonna fuck our day up. They're gonna blow up our sheep. Can't have that. Honestly, even snipers aren't that good. They're okay, they're better than shotgunners, but assault rifles are just... way better. Oh god. Yeah, we, I need to throw a grenade. I need to throw a grenade right freaking now. It's not going to reach, though, will it? No. Angela... Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, we'll be able to throw a grenade before too long. did something, Theodore. Okay. I believe now it is grenade time. This is gonna be good. Oh, I can't quite get where I want it to be, but you know what? I will settle for four out of five. As you can see, I'm just hitting the arm of the lobber behind the rock on the left. Just barely. Yep, there we go. It's like one pixel. You know, this guy looks suspiciously like Rambo. Oh, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Ooh, I can throw it at the rock. There we go. Oh, oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, let's take out this dude, because I'm scared of his heavy weapon. Okay, we can conserve our ammo now. Let's use Yulia's shotgun. Tons of weapons to sell. Ooh, coach gun. Might be an interesting... Uh, different weapon for Yulia. Since she has not been using... She hasn't been using the laser weapons. The energy weapons. Uh, well, at all, really. And we have a bunch of level ups. Do that. Do, 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 do. Four points. Hmm. Definitely not sniper rifle skill, it's already pretty high. So, weapon smithing or perception. Let's go with weapon smithing. I'll save her skill points. 
Who actually leveled up? Harper did. Yeah, whoever was healed, those are the people that leveled up. Yeah, he doesn't have enough points. Helen, I just spent hers. Takayuki got two, which isn't enough to really do anything. Alright, I guess I'm just going to save most of their points. Cloth patch? <laughs> Stitched pants with cup. M4? Eh, it's not very good. A lot of weapons to strip for parts, though, if I want to. There's one thing I like, it's stripping. And my goats are perfectly fine. Yay! Shit. Yeah, I think this place is intended for lower level characters. Because those were good guns a little while ago, but now they're just a little bit not. And what the hell is this? Someone left a pile of old newspapers and a roll of toilet paper just laying here. Huh? Is that part of like some weird quest or something? I'm suspicious about this one. Oh no, it's fine. Ah, Yulia's overburdened. Well, actually, actually no, she's not overburdened. The uh, the orange thing means that. Yeah, you're turning into a pack mule and close to encumbered status. So it's just saying warning, you're getting there. It doesn't actually have any negative effects yet. See, <laughs> look at this. She's got so much shotgun ammo saved up. Jesus. I'm going to pawn one of these 15-pound behemoths on somebody else. Here, carry your weight, Theodore. Okay, let's take a look at this coach gun. Damage is <laughs> exactly the same. Higher critical chance, higher multiplier, same chance to jam, same range, much lower capacity, lower cone, and lower armor penetration. Hmm. And it costs 5 AP, which means you can only shoot... Tw uh, once during a normal turn. Yeah, so... It's got a s more narrow cone, which could be useful to avoid hitting my own people during certain situations. So that's kind of neat, but uh, the fact that it costs 5 AP means I don't think it's worth it. Nah, I'll go back to the pulse. Oh, whoops. Okay, guess we've made our way to the prison proper, right? Nice overlook, you can see right into the Red Scorpion's outpost. Can I? Yes, I can, apparently. I think I remember seeing this place in promotional material for the game. Which was also true about the gas station, so I guess this is an area that they did kind of early on and like to show off a lot. I think they demonstrated, like, cover here, and I think they demonstrated snipers be having a height advantage up here on this little ridge thing. Yeah, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ooh. Alright, we're good. I won't have time to get into position. That's a sharpshooter, so that's a sniper. It's got the right idea. So. So, so, so. Let's split our people up. Shit, how do, 
Can I get my people all into place with, before aggroing everybody? What if I just leave everybody up here? So we all have a height advantage. It's not bad, is it? Well, they might have cover. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Alright. I'm going to get you into place. Sniper's going to be up here. Melee dude's got to be down here, of course. Come on, I can do this. Just got to wait. Wait for the sharpshooter to turn, sharpshooter to turn around. Sniper's going to be up there. I don't know if the sniper can see us over that. Hopefully not. Save this is pretty cool. Tactically getting into position. All right, it's time to kill this mofo. Boom! All right, combat begins. This is going to be an interesting encounter. Ow! All right, sight blocked. Shit! All right, so we can't. Yeah, we can't hit these people, but we can hit these people with an extremely high chance. Nice. At this point. A headshot might be worth it. We should probably crouch, right? Eighty-six percent. Yeah, I think that's probably worth it. Yeah, I'll take it. Nice. Wait, what the hell, Harper? You can hit this person? How? They're through the tires. I don't get it. I'll take it, but I don't get it. Okay, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of enemies. I need to kill them. I can only shoot once per turn. At the moment. So, uh, I'm gonna burst. A little bit wasteful on ammo, but... Uh, I'd rather live. I want to stay in cover. Seems such a waste to burst him, but if I do that, I'm pretty much guaranteed to kill him. Yeah, let's do it. There's another situ- what the hell? Why did my view just go up into the mountains? There's another situation where an explosive would be very useful. <laughs> Look at this line of goats, which are actually blocking my way. Why, why do I hear infinite footsteps? What is that sound? Anyway. Another strange, strange thing in the wastes. I just move one closer. Can hit. Can I hit three? Ah, oh, I can't quite hit three, but I can hit two. <laughs> nice. So this is one of the also rare situations where the shotgun is actually coming in handy. Doggies. Damn it, I can't see the heavy gunner. Ah! 
Did one of the goats just scream? Calm down, everything's fine. Let's go mess up this feral dog. Oof. Ow. We need to kill that mofo. You know what, I actually like the idea of an explosive. Do I have a less extreme explosive? Um, I can't... Can I switch inventories between people during combat? I think I answered that before, but I don't remember. A uh, pipe bomb would be good. Whose turn is it? Theodore. Hmm. The radius on that is not very high. I'll take it. Excellent, and they are almost dead. Why does the fuel keep going up into the mountains? Stop it. Alright, we gotta kill this guy now. Right now. Four hit points, what a waste. Oh well. Okay, yeah, this is a clusterfuck. What the hell do I even do? Oh, wait a minute, I can just switch fire modes. Alright, there we go. I was thinking like, yeah, how come I can only move like two squares before I lose my ability to shoot? And that's because I was in burst fire. Ooh, this is a little bit better. Can get into some cover. Yeah, there we go. Let's kill this dude. Shotgun would be nice here, but how do I, you know, avoid killing everybody else? Actually, if I go here, I think I can just shoot in between them. Yeah, there we go. So, get out of this clusterfuck a little bit. Give him some room. Theodore! A dog's eating your ass! And they can't do shit. Oh, shit, there's another one. That looked really painful. Uh, I shot them so hard they disappeared out of existence. All right. Are they dead? Oh, now they're back. Okay. Theodore, you can't even shoot a feral dog. Just think about that, okay? We don't really need to do anything at this point. Angela can clean up the heavy gutter. Let's just hide everybody behind cover so the heavy gunner can't shoot any of us. Where the hell are you? Alright, I'm gonna take a risk. Twenty-seven hit points. I can do it. Uh, what's your armor? Four. 
I don't need a burst fire, do I? No. Whew. That was a really cool encounter. And everybody's bleeding. How many suture kits do I have? Is that just one? Uh, yeah, I just have one. Okay. Well. Uh, the rest of you are going to have to wait for your blood to coagulate. Let's give Yuli a little bit of healing. It's gonna be so, I'm gonna be so overburdened with weapons. Tons of ammo. Oh, what is this? <laughs> A dud grenade? I wonder what that says on that note there. Lots of trauma kits. Bottled pet. What kind of a pet? Hold on, we got a couple things to check out. Where's the Granada? This grenade hasn't gone off. Yet. <laughs> uh, oh, you can actually kind of read it. Pulling this will make you... Will make your wildest dreams? It's really hard to read. Pulling this will make your wildest. It doesn't look like a D. It's gotta say, will make your wildest dreams come true. But that doesn't actually look like a D. But I think that's what it says. And what is this? A scorpion in a jar. Oh. That's a. That's a really shitty living condition for a scorpion. Can I let it go? I want to let the poor thing go. <laughs> There's an alarm. Oh no! The people here might know that I... that I'm stealing their stuff. I do. Did I loot this guy up here? Yeah, I did. Looted him by proxy. Oh my god. Massive ammo waster. It's a, it's a very scary weapon, though. Even if it is inefficient. Alright, so what's going on around here? Looks like the Red Scorpion's clubhouse. Where's the keep out, no girls allowed sign? So this probably goes back to the front. Yeah, that goes back to Prison Valley. So that's probably the front entrance. The normal way. Danger mines. Gotcha. Uh, I feel like those pigeons might explode. In fact, maybe that's why they put them there. Maybe if you just run across like an idiot, the mines will explode and blow up the pigeons. I wonder. Critical success. Seriously? Come on, you've done this so many times, Yulia. You cut the green wire first.
Oh my god. I don't actually have to do this. I could just go the other way, but I just want the XP. <laughs> really? What's the chance of that? There's, a, there's only a 1% chance of a critical failure, and she just had two 1% chances trigger within, like, five mines. The hell are the chances of that? I like the free XP, but... Please tell me there's no more. One more? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. They must be protecting something good back here in that chest. Jesus. That's it. I mean, it's not bad, but it's anticlimactic. A little bit of ammo, medkit, and a cross. Okay, so this is cleared out. We looted that stuff, looted all the bodies. Do, do, do. Yeah, we are good to go. So it's time to continue this way. I mean, we still haven't actually gotten to the prison, right? This is just the areas surrounding the prison. Obviously, this is not a prison of any sort. So, yeah, still plenty to do. Did I not disable this one? Oh, no, it, it looks different because that's the one that blew up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we've made some solid progress, encroaching upon the Red Scorpion's territory, and those goats are doing the weird thing again. Stop it! <laughs> I just like the description. A cute little goat, but what the hell is that screaming noise it makes? Eh, you can stay. You freaky little things. Alright, so I think I'll end this episode here. In the next episode, we shall continue on to the prison proper, I think. And see what's in store for us there. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.